Good evening, everyone. Um, we'll take a show of hands for questions, please, and we'll set an embargo towards the end for 10.30 p.m. on Sunday evening. Somewhere to start, Sam? Hi, Sam. It's nice what, to... What, what's, going, what's going on at the moment? What, what did you make of the game today, and how does that tie into what else has been happening recently with the results of the Everything was different for the last four. So in in this ball, we played 70 minutes really good. The first time, 50 second half was not good. Today we played really good in the first half. Uh, uh, considering the opening, what we create and yeah, we could not finish the game, but never finish in the Premier League, but have advantage quite similar in Lisboa. And after maybe we are not consistent to maintain the game or our our game and our intensity in press and be aggressive there. From 90, from 90 minutes in the second half we we could not be more aggressive in these areas and, and after they contact for the positions that they are good and and at the end they score goals. What's the reason for that? Not being able to keep up the aggression? Is it as simple as being tired? The injuries have had a big effect? I will reflect this 10 days. Are you expecting a, a lot of work during the international break? Then? No. We clean our heads and the players come back fit. This is the target uh, to try to the players when after, you know, they are there, come back. But when they come back, I would like to play the level that we play in the first half. And mainly in Lisboa, I know how we are going to, we are playing. I know I'm not going to convince you, this is not my, my target, but I know we are, the level we are playing is really, really good in certain moments, but we are not able to continue for a long time. In certain moments, uh, but I'm pretty sure when the players come back and we can make um, some individual qualities on the on the, on the team, uh, we'll be back. Pat, this, is, this is quite an unfamiliar thing for you. I don't, you've, you've ever lost four games as a manager in a row. I mean, how how strange is it for you this this feeling? Because you've never you've never had it before. Welcome. Always happen one time in a lifetime, right? Always there's a first time in. In lifetime, of course, we have to change to change it. We lost two Premier League, two games in a in a Premier League. That is the point, and and of course, we have to change. We have to start to back uh, to winning. But yeah, we are in the position that we are in the table in the Champions League again, and uh, and hopefully, when the players come back, and I don't have any doubts that uh, we will be back in our best. But this is the biggest challenge you've had. Yeah, when we won 60 games in a row, right, to win the Premier Leagues and go 17 to win the Premier Leagues. Yeah, sometimes it's in that way, sometimes in that way. It's happened. So normally the people lose games, right? Not you. Yeah. Always there is a first time in life, you know. So the situation is that and and that's why I said before, I, this is my challenge, so our challenge, so, and I like to face it. So. I will not step back at all, less than ever. So I'm more than ever, I want to do it. And and uh, yeah, we will try again. Because we try here analyze for the fact that how we perform, right? When you say for in a row, the answer is done. Yeah, for in a row. Okay. So the question is how we are playing. And you say in Bournemouth is unacceptable in terms, I would say, otherwise it all will be upset with me. They deserve it, so they play much, much better. But the other games were really, really good. In the sports in Carabao Cup, we were really, really good. For the players that we played, the young lads, and today again. So there are many, many positive things, many positive things in the game in Lisboa and today. But we lost. And what we lost, I'm here, but looks like my argument has excuses. That is the, that is the point. This is what I feel. When I play bad, I'm the first to say, mm -mm, I don't like it, but I don't have that feeling. But the second half they make, with Balanga came in, with Joe Pedro, with the new guys came in, um, they were strong. We could not, the impact in our changes was not good and, and from from my fault and and um, and we could not sustain the rhythm and the level that we play in the first half. And of course they have a little bit chances. Kyle is not ready for 90 minutes at all because didn't train few few games, uh, train few train sessions in this season, all season so far, and still we are not, you know, to do it uh, for a long time. But that's what I said. So hopefully we can maintain that level with the all squad as much as possible. Come back, but you know, Madrid today three or four players injured again. So, so in all the teams, all the clubs, there are a lot of injuries, and hopefully we can turn around and come back with the players being fit. Are you serious? 
right now I have to try to win one. And we'll see what happened next. Because when we won 14 or 16 to win, I always never think I won how much. I win that game, another game, another game. This is what uh, we we did it. And now it's the target is rest, don't see each other. Everyone recover the players. The, interna the games, the players go to national team, play as good as possible. Come back fit, everyone come back. Okay, this next Tottenham, let's go, go for it. If it's enough, it's enough. If it's not enough, so then we are not going to win. What can we say? So, and after the teams and everyone, we take the decisions that we have to take. But it's no more than that. So I'm not thinking never, ever, even when we won in November, think, oh, we're going to win, we're going to win. It's, what's next? What's next? In, uh, in the way we played, in certain moments, was really, really good in our highest level. So. Often when you've lost games in the past, you've, you've, you've said you know, you've been very positive about performance, and that's clearly you know, the case in some of the games. But all these great sides come to an end, and, and as the rest of us were all looking for the yeah. signs that an era is coming to an end. I know. Are, are you, you're telling us this era is not, you're not finished yet, these group of players are not finished. It's what we want. Not finish, you know that? It's one that people want, right? So. It's normal, so we won a lot, it's happened, but I would like to be all the squad, you know, to fight and if someone do it, okay, congratulations. Not giving away because we are not there. You know, I had that feeling, you know, giving away, we are not there. We cannot do it every three days, three days, four days, three days with the situations that we are. So I would love to have the players, you know. But I, I remember I said, Previous time, Liverpool from Jurgen after win Champions League Premier League, one year was Banda King just six months, one year and a lot of injuries and it went to Europa League. So uh, we, we need that to to have it, but now we don't have it. But at the end, we say, how are we going to play? Our mistakes, yeah. But in general, it happened. The area is going to come, yeah, for sure. This is not eternal. So in the next 56, no, 55 years, the city is not going to win every year the, the Premier League, right? So that's for sure. So it's not going to happen. But try to, mm -mm, why not? It's being there. Uh, this is what I would like. And I see the players, the training, and the way he played, start the game in the first half and start the game in Lisboa and said, we're going to do it again and do it again. It's there. But the reality is not enough. So here, the business, you have to win games. And now we are not going in games, especially in the Premier League right now. And, of course, you have to change the players knows it, but that will help us to be more focused, the desire to come back and the players do it and we will see. And when it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So going to end, will be end. So. Can I just ask you about the conversation at the end with Van Hecker, TV cameras were on you and what, what was that about? That uh, he's a strong with Erling and Erling is stand up, he had to stand up, he cannot go to the grass. Stay strong, no? If you pull him all the game and after we would fight, stay there like Erling all the time is. But he played a really good game. Congratulations, Brighton. Jack? Um, did you see Sarantos this last week back in the week? You saw the Sunday show that he did. Do you see similarities this year to previous years? Because obviously in October, November, they've been having problems, haven't they? No, no. In terms of we're playing. The results is not, can be similar because the fact that you play two or three or four is not the point. It's the point that we don't have players. We have four central defenders. They are not anyone is there. Four, four, all four are injured, and Rodri, the best player, is not there. Kevin De Bruyne is away, away from his best. Doku is injured. Jack is injured. So you can do one game and do it, but be consistent is not. In the second half, I can use when the people can use Manu or can use Nathan or can use Ruben. And after that, in the last minutes, I need to change the game. I put Doku or put, uh, you know, um, another players. We can do it. But looks like, please don't misunderstand me. It looks like that I'm complaining that the player is not. We play really good. Uh, my point of view. Listen, you have an opinion, have an opinion. I give you your answer. We play really good. But to play three things, you tell me what is compared to the last previous seasons. In previous seasons, we have the squad. Now we'll have it. So this is the wow, main, main difference. But we have to survive with that. We have to live with that. And and how we behave is, yeah, it was good. Was there any prospect of Manu or Nathan playing any minutes today? Um, no. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll play. 
See, having having ten days to recover, I would have played, but they were not ready. They are not ready. Manu said, "Yes, I felt so bad in the training session. I could not move properly." And against that team, I prefer fresh, fresh uh, people. The guy played really good. The young lad again, with this composer and duels and everything was good. It's not easy for him. And normally the young lads, they must come in with the support for the team, with Rodri in front of you, right? With uh, the best guy and defenders. And now, now, you know, the, you support him. Now he's playing in a position that is isn't difficult for him. And he performed unbelievable. We have a central defender to help us for the, the future, for the next years. I'm really pleased. Always there are good news, you know, when situations go bad. And this is one of them. We'll set the embargo there for 10.30pm on Sunday evening.